Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how we can use reciprocals to solve some equations. So we're going to jump right in, we're going to do three examples in this video. Let's get on with number one. So we have negative 7 fourths times x is equal to 4. So when I look at this I think, oh I need to divide both sides by negative 7 over 4. Well that creates a complex fraction, right? So if I wrote it like this, divide by negative 7 over 4, then it's like negative 7 over 4 divided by negative 7 over 4, and we know we would keep the first fraction flip the second fraction and change to multiplication. So what are we actually doing when we're dividing by negative seven over four? We're multiplying by the reciprocal of negative seven over four, which would be negative four over seven. So that's the idea there. So we can go ahead and just multiply at the beginning by the reciprocal. We don't have to go through that process of cape flip change and all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply by four over negative seven on both sides of my equation because remember we still have to keep the equation balanced. So now when I multiply by reciprocals, just like dividing by the same number, it's gonna equal out to one, which is gonna cancel out and leave us just with our variable, which in this case is x. So now I have two fractions, four over one times four over negative seven. So four times four would be 16 and my denominator would be negative seven. Okay, now we could leave our answer like this as an improper fraction, but if the question asks you to write it as a mixed number, remember we could just divide that and write our answer as a mixed number. So we could do 16 divided by seven. We know that's gonna go in there one time, and that's gonna be nine, not nine. Um, that's not gonna go in there one time, right? That's gonna go in there two times, because two times seven would be 14, and we're left with two over seven, right? So our answer would be negative, because we had a negative sign negative two and two sevenths would be how we could write that as a mixed number, okay? All right, number two, three fifths x equals negative 10. So like we looked at on number one, we can go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal of our coefficient, which would be five over three. So now those would equal one, so we get x is equal to negative 10 times five would be negative 50, and one times three is three. So once again, we could leave that as an improper fraction, or we could divide to get our mixed number. Three will go into five one time, and five minus three would be two, we bring down the zero, and three will go into 20 six times, and that would be 18. So now once again we have 16, so we could say x is equal to negative 16, and then we have two over three, so 16 and two thirds, okay? All right, let me move this part over just a little bit, and there we go, and now let's do number three. Okay, for number three, we have negative 16 is equal to 3 fourths x, so our reciprocal of our coefficient would be 4 over 3. So we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 4 over 3, and that's going to get rid of our, recipro or it's going to get rid of our coefficient on the right side. So we just have x here, and then negative 16 times 4 would be negative 64, and 1 times 3 would be 3. So we could leave this as x equals negative 64 over 3, or as a mixed number, we could divide 64 divided by three, so that'd be two times, and we bring down our four, and that'll go in once, and we're left with one third. So we could say x is equal to negative 21 and one third, if we wanna write that as a mixed number, okay? So those are some examples of how we could solve equations using reciprocals.